hey, check out this vlog of my trip up to Wisconsin, checking out Mercury's facilities, hanging out with some of my friends. Of course, you know, had a little cameo from Jimmy Houston in there. I wish somebody sent me one. <laughs> There's some really cool on the water footage. Be sure to check this trip out. Pretty cool. So today I am in the airport, headed up to Wisconsin, going up here for a Mercury Influencer Summit is what they're calling this thing. So I'm going up here, getting ready to walk down the uh, to where my gate is, get ready to fly up there. Got to go through Charlotte, of course. I can't go straight from Roanoke to anywhere. So I'm going to go up there, fly into Milwaukee and see what all they've got here uh, with mercury and gonna look at i think their facilities check out some of that stuff have some different meetings so come along with me let's check it out and now i am headed through charlotte airport the queen city baby here in Milwaukee uh, getting off the plane and who's on my plane my boy Mark Daniels yes, jr sir. be sure to go out to over to his YouTube page hit the little button right there check me out hit it hit it right there subscribe uh, check out all, all his fun videos but uh yeah we're fixing to get ourselves from here in Milwaukee up to Fond du Lac where the summit is gonna be going down now I just got checked out to the rental car here she is baby Look at this silver bullet, son. We're having a little fun in this thing. Come on. I finally figured out how to drive the rental car. It's got buttons for the park, reverse. And also, when I get in here, it's already on Tom Petty Radio. My man, it's gonna be a good trip. And now I'm gonna go have dinner with my brother-in-law and his family. Go get uh, get some good seafood up here in Milwaukee, and then get on up there to Fond du Lac. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Just made it up here into my hotel room, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, home of Mercury Outboard Mercury Engine. I've got all my goods. Lay it out for Mercury. Pretty cool. So we're gonna see what it all means tomorrow. On oh, a free, we got two days, so we're gonna see what all that means uh, in the hotel room. Oh, you gotta check out the Radisson. This is the Radisson here. Got a nice bathroom. Nice bathroom. So we're gonna check it all out tomorrow. See what it means. Be Mercury, baby. So here we are, getting ready to get on the big bus. Um, at breakfast this morning, it is like a reunion of all the pros, all the bass pros. It's going to get a little rowdy, so we'll see what happens here. Now, this is the crew. I don't know how much we're going to be able to film inside. Check it out. Clothing and hot. Brent. This is the big factory. This this place is huge. Just got back into the conference room. Did the long factory tour. These guys just recovering. Uh, a lot of proprietary information, a lot of no photography, no video in there. So couldn't see any of that, but we got more to come. Getting off the bus. Hot JT, I'll keep getting off the bus. And it's raining, but we're getting ready to go get fancied up and uh, go to the supper club. So we'll have to return tomorrow for On the Water. So day two, we just got off the bus up here in Oshkosh, walking with Brock and Mike and the boys. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're doing to start off with. I think we're supposed to check out some motor guide presentation, but we're gonna find out here shortly. Me and Drew gonna check this out. I'm gonna check this motor guy presentation out. They got a new motor guy, Trolla motor coming, but I don't think they're gonna let me show any of the goods. Well, I just got out of the Mercury meeting. Uh, that was actually the motor guy presentation. And all I can tell you is there is a new motor guy Trolla motor coming out at ICAST. 
get all the information about it there. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, hopefully, they'll get that thing dialed in and uh, have another competitor out there on the market for the trolling motor, but it'll be the Motor Guide Tour and the uh, Tour Plus. It's gonna have the GPS. It's gonna have all the features you probably would expect and, uh, and some pretty cool other features. A uh, little product differentiation from the, from the competitors, so just something else to check out for ICAST, but we're walking back down here to the, to the dock or to the boardwalk, if you will, and can really take some test drives, see what they'd be talking about downhill. All right, so now we're out here on the water, and they've got on this boat, you've got a pontoon boat with double 300s. Uh, this is a super tricked out pontoon boat, but what they're displaying here is the C zone, and uh, Daniel's going to kind of give you the the quick. Uh, overview of all the features and it's, it's an MFD which is a multi-function display uh, in the season they have two different multi-function displays we have both of them on this boat to kind of show you what what is going on yeah the really awesome thing now that we have the engines talking on a communication bus and all of the devices on the boat talking on a communication bus that allows us to control things either automatically for instance, when the ladder was down and the engine starts, it lets you know that the ladder is down automatically so you uh, don't run around making a rooster tail with the ladder. And additionally, there are modes that you can push in, and you'll see that down here uh, on the uh, top of this display. These that look like a tab are actually uh, mode buttons, and if we go to the first page as you push and hold that mode button you can see that the lights for night cruising have come on and that's just as simple as pushing and holding that or you can see a more intuitive interaction with the boat on this next page as to oh I want to turn the anchor light on I tap that it brings out the light the display for the anchor lights or I want to turn the tower lights on I can turn the tower lights on here. I can also um, press and hold this. I can dim the tower lights uh, if it's a little too bright at night, and that's very easily done now that we have full control of the system through a combination of having a communication bus for the engine and a communication bus for the boat. Very, very cool, and then that's the smaller and then the bigger display is, is up here, and there's all kind of different different options you can see here. Yeah, so what you were just on is actually, this is all of the engine information. This screen that was pulled out here, this allows us to take the exhaust and uh, make the engines a little louder at idle. So you got the cool factor going on with that. And you can turn on and off smart tow and active trim and all the other amazing features that Mercury has embedded in their in propulsion technology. You can drill into the screens and go further down into just specific information that you want to look at. And all of that can be done through the MFD. Or we can go back out and just like any of these MFDs, obviously here you've got your chart plotter, you've got your depth the engine screen that we were just on or you also can do the digital switching from these pages as well and all of that becomes available you would not necessarily have to have the smaller device that we were just looking at you could just have one device and do all of that through that one device very cool and then you've got here the the man overboard uh, you know uh, the Bluetooth uh, um, they're actually talking on a proprietary network. It's kind of like Bluetooth. Though. Similar to Bluetooth yeah. technology, but you can exactly. wear those, uh, to which it'll it'll kill the, the motor, like kill switch, if you will. Um, the red ones are the, for the captain, is that right? And then the, the black ones for your passengers? If they're you, they're if currently like. set up the black ones are for the captain and the red ones are for the passengers. Okay, but, but uh, that concept is correct, that there's the devices. You can have up to seven of these for your passengers, and if somebody goes overboard, then uh, it would... Uh, shut the engine down or take whatever action that you programmed into uh, that particular device and how it interacts. It uh, will allow you also as uh, not only shutting down the boat or shutting down the engine, 
points since it talks on the networks again and you have that capability of the communications uh, going with each other you have the ability as you for instance walk up to the boat just like your car you know when you walk up to your car and you pull on the handle it unlocks the doors same type of thing you can walk up to the boat turn on the battery switches conversely when you leave the boat you forgot to turn off the battery switches it would shut the whole boat down and allow you to not have to be thinking about all those little nuances as uh, uh, experienced boaters do or maybe even they forget right yeah i mean the the, the whole season season concept is is makes it intuitive for for advanced boaters and non-advanced boaters to be able to make sure that you don't make any major mistakes like that or uh, you know if you have people that, that are on the boat and you're you're uncomfortable and you keep you keep looking around to make sure that they're there those uh those those fobs are, are very very good but man you could put this this mfd on a bass boat uh, a huge cruiser you can put it on a pontoon boat you can put it on any type of boat uh, makes your boating experience a lot more fun so i appreciate your you bet. your time and uh, explaining Sorry. what that is to us so uh, we're going to check out some more cool stuff here at the on the water portion they got a little trolling motor action going on out there and uh, we're going to check out some other stuff but i'm going to give you a, i'll give you an up close view of the uh, of the engines here on the back yeah. pretty cool on the water with Mike and we are looking at the active trim feature this is a really cool deal not only for for first-time boaters and, and novice boaters but also for experienced boaters if you just want to take all the guesswork out and it makes your boat more efficient um, and so just briefly we're gonna look here uh, and have Mike explain to you what's going on here with the uh, Lawrence display um, this is works with any mobile view compatible um, so you got the the active active trim over here on the vessel control. You can see that. Making yep. sure, making sure you can see it on the on the yeah. Okay. So you can definitely see that. You have various profiles uh, based on your aggressiveness that you can adjust. Uh, it's on three now, but you can put it on two. Uh, the higher is more aggressive, and then um, and then you can disable it if you hit that button right there. But the trim uh, you can see is right here, and then it does not activate until you get up to, to five miles an hour so we're gonna we're gonna get, put this thing in in gear and put it in business uh, so we're just gonna idle along here now um, just going you know a couple miles an hour but so I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it up a little bit I've got it trimmed up and then I'm gonna just go ahead and put it into gear and start idling get it above five miles an hour and then it's, it's, it's trimming down on its own because that's the optimal. It knows we need to get on plane. Uh, it's, it tracks by the uh, GPS, not by the RPMs of the motor. So it, it tracks your GPS and your speed to, to be able to tell the motor what trim to run. And that also helps you as you're going into turns. Uh, so we're gonna check that out. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to talk to the, uh, to the camera while we're running, but we'll, we'll give you a, a view. Sporty little boat here. You can see the, you can see the trim's already come up to more of an optimal running position, more efficient this way. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Mike here, and then uh, we'll do a few turns.
turn. I'm not touching a thing. Now we're going back up to speed. Trimming back up all by itself. Pretty wild. And then we just clicked with your new kid. We just trimmed it trimmed itself down when I when I set it down. So that's the uh, the active trim here. Uh, like I said, it's it, it works with all the uh, mobile the vessel control vessel control right? vessel what control vessel? from uh, Mercury from Mercury. Just amazing, very very cool. Uh, Mercury, it's just all the all the features and all the uh, making your boating experience just much more fun. This is the this over here is the if you're going to add it on and you don't have the ability to to run it through your Lawrence unit or, or whichever unit is compatible that's what that would look like and again you could put this on bass boats uh, pontoon boats cruisers runabouts uh, i mean just all, all kind of different boats an amazing an amazing little feature uh which when i when i heard about it yesterday and learned about it i was thinking eh, maybe it, eh, it's okay we'll see be good for for novices but then when i when i found out how how dialed in this this whole thing is it, it it's going to make your boat more efficient and you don't have to think about it you can run down the lake you can think about what lure you want to throw not worry about the trim and know that you're going to be in the most efficient um you know mode possible plus when you're trimming along if you're going along you want to do something different than what what it's doing all you got to do is touch the trim button and, and go up or down and it will disable that and either you you bring it back to throttle uh, bring it back to, uh, to you know, into neutral and it will restart or you can hit the button right there to uh, to resume if it, you can if you disable it you hit the hit the button to, to enable it back and and it can go again so it's not like it totally takes over all your trim controls but it, it just makes it uh, a lot better feature to where you can you can have it if you want it you don't have to have it if you don't want it uh, pretty uh, pretty amazing though and I appreciate it Mike. Thanks, for, thanks, thanks for, for showing me yeah very cool just finished up a little team photo shoot what are you looking at jimmy uh somebody texted you a nudie uh, i wish <laughs> i wish somebody sent me one. <laughs> oh, i love it jimmy houston best hey there he is Hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude, I'm next to Big Jake. There he is. <laughs> We're gonna do a little meet and greet with the employees. See how this goes. This would be fun. This would be fun. What's up, Chris? Yeah. Got Hank coming in here. For, I don't know where Hank is. He's coming around. Jay Pros over here in the sun. I don't know how you pull that position off there. All right. That's a really, really good one. What's up? My boy, Jimmy. Hey, that's what you ought to do out here. Jake over here, just chilling out, uh, signing some banners and talking with a few people. So part part of the deal, uh, get to meet some of the 3,500 employees that they have here on this campus. Pretty amazing. They got 6,000 worldwide, but here we are. So we just got back from the on the water and the meet and greet with the with all the employees. Pretty neat deal. Got to meet a lot of the people that that make the engines that I get to run out there on the water. Uh, but just what an amazing tour. I uh, had a really good time with all of my friends, uh, all the other Mercury Pro Staff guys. Uh, a lot of guys that I don't get to see on a normal basis. And of course, you know, your, your Jimmy Houston's and your um, Hank Parker's, those guys, legends. I got to, got to hang out with some of those guys. Very, very cool. And I uh, got to see... Three million square feet of manufacturing space is what what uh, Mercury has up here. Uh, 3,500 employees just in this campus. 6,000 worldwide. Pretty uh, pretty amazing. That's what it takes to pump out 500 outboard engines 
per day. They make uh, 120,000 props per year. So just uh, unbelievable numbers of manufacturing in the United States. Very cool to see exactly how it all goes down and uh, get to uh, play my part here with Mercury Resource Guide to be able to, to go bold, stay bold on the Go, go Boldly campaign, which really centers around uh, being more uh, human interest and making a better boating experience. It's not all about performance, although Mercury's the best. Um, just saying uh, that Mercury has unbelievable performance and you know world-renowned reliability, durability, those kind of things uh, that are that are at the top of the market. But you know Mercury has the number one market share overall in outboard engines, uh, and they're they're at the top of the list in seven out of the eleven total categories of uh, different horsepower ratings. So pretty pretty amazing that uh, they're at the top and they're they're investing so much money. They've invested over a billion dollars in the last 10 years into manufacturing and research. Um, so pretty amazing that they're they're reinvesting that much to make sure that they stay at the top and in, into awesome projects like the new uh, Pro XS four stroke, which I love and it is amazing. So uh, just, just to hope you enjoyed the trip and being able to follow along with me as I was able to to learn a whole bunch. I couldn't show you a whole lot on the inside of the manufacturing part because a lot of uh, proprietary information there, but hopefully you're able to see uh, and enjoy what I get to do uh, when I have these quote unquote sponsor obligations uh, to come up here and learn more about the product and learn how to better promote the products like the Mercury Outboard Engines. Pretty amazing, pretty awesome company, a lot of nice people and uh, a lot of people working really hard to make sure we have the best engines on the water. So I hope you enjoyed it.